welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a video with the ColourPop Uh Huh Honey palette. This is like ColourPop's most anticipated monochromatic palette and I had to get my hands on it of course as soon as it came out. So I did film this look for you guys but before I show you how I achieved this look I do want to swatch this palette really quickly just so you guys can get an idea of how the shades show up on my skin tone. So here are the first five shades. We have Stinger, Sunburst, Sweet Spot, Dandy, and Palooza. I used most of these shades on my eyes today, actually. Um, this shade, Sunburst, is the lid shade I have on. It's like a beautiful yellow duochrome with like a flip of like a blue in it. This shade called Sweet Spot, hardly swatch. Let me see if I can build that up for you guys it I yeah I put that on my crease and I had a tough time with it so it kind of makes sense <laughs> that it's not really showing up on me uh, because I had a horrible time blending it and then I have the pressed glitter kind of in the inner corner and then let's watch the rest of the shadows so we have Queen Bee which is this beautiful shimmer totally bugging oh behave and buzzkill Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, the mattes, oh, and I got really more of a tan the last couple of days because uh, of 4th of July, I was outside and stuff. So yeah, these shades kind of, I had a tough time, but they're blended into the crease. So yeah, without further blabbering, let me show you how I achieved this look. Hey YouTube, what's up? So I haven't filmed in forever. I look so beautiful. Still in my pajamas, but I figured I'd do my makeup and then we'd, you know, see the transformation. So I got a bunch of new stuff today to play with. And the first thing I want to do is my eyes. And I just got the ColourPop Uh Huh Honey palette. I feel like I can't say that as well as Mel Thompson I kept saying it in her video, but I was so excited for this palette. It was definitely time for them to do a yellow palette. Uh, I haven't seen anyone with my skin tone play with this, but I have seen, um, I believe Teresa's Dead just uploaded a video, Samantha March, um, a bunch of creators have been playing with this palette. So if you have a lighter skin tone than me, um, definitely check those videos out. And just for fun, I wanted to show you guys my little nine pan palette collection. I actually bought the Soul and Mar palette when those launched, but I've been trying to declutter my collection and not keep things that I'm not really gonna use multiple times so I did actually end up selling that on Poshmark a while ago and I honestly prefer like this packaging they have repackaged Soul and Mar since it originally launched into like a monochromatic look but yeah and I haven't I feel so bad because I haven't really played with these other new palettes I did use this one in a St. Patrick's Day video um, but I haven't used the Blue Moon or the Main Squeeze on my channel. I do love the Ooh La La. Brown Sugar is like probably one of the most underrated neutrals in a ColourPop's lineup. I love this palette so, so much. And then I think my favorite of the monochromatic palettes, and I'm not even a big purple person, but it is, it's my pleasure if you can't decide which one to get. This one is so good and I'm shocked because like I said, I'm not a huge purple person. So keep that in mind. I might keep these two around in case I need something to darken up the outer V. So those are like all my little stories that I wanted to tell you guys before I got started. So I don't have a lick of makeup on. I literally just woke up and I figured I would try and be productive today. Um, because I literally have not filmed for YouTube forever and I don't know why I just haven't wanted to sit and play with makeup. I don't know if it's just the weather is nice and I can find more things to do outside, you know, and it was a long weekend. Um, so I did, you know, was spending time with friends and family and stuff like that. But 
I figured, you know, I still need to get my shiz together. So when I placed my ColourPop order for the Aha uh -huh Honey palette, I was on my way to meet Angelica, and she had mentioned in her Will I Buy video how much she wanted the new Kathleen Light blushes, and she had particularly mentioned that she wanted the shade so retrograde. So um, I actually bought... I gave her the one I bought, the So Retrograde I bought, and then when I bought Aha uh -huh Honey, I just bought myself another one, and I've been loving, oh my gosh, I've been loving this one. Um, this is another of the Kathleen Lights blushes, and this is My Sun and Stars. Oh my gosh, this one I feel like is a decent dupe for the Melt Cosmetics um, Genesis blush highlight that they just came out with. That sucker is like almost $40, and I like refuse to pay. Um, that kind of money for a blush highlight. So I feel like this is a decent dupe and then I'm excited to have So Retrograde um, because it low-key reminds me of NARS Taj Mahal, which I've always wanted that blush. And then I really regretted not buying all of the blushes and ColourPop was having a sale for 4th of July, but I couldn't make up my mind and I didn't want to pay for shipping and I didn't want anything else. So then I ended up missing out on it because it sold out. And then I got this really cool thing from Ulta when they were doing their um 20 percent off sale was it last week sometime i had um placed an order um and i showed my order on instagram but i hadn't really posted anything about it on youtube and i saw scott barnes on tati's channel and he was kind of like playing with something similar to this so it's like a little brush holder and i thought it would be kind of fun for when i film like tutorials and stuff you know so yeah this one's from Alta and it was like 12 bucks so I was really curious about that and then I bought the little brush set that launched with Aha uh -huh Honey because I like Colourpop brushes a whole lot and they're super affordable so I'm going in with this guy E2 this is the packaging by the way for the brush set it wasn't anything fancy but 20 bucks for six brushes I thought was a solid deal so I love picking up their brush sets and here's the palette so let's see here what shade should I dip into um I think I want to go into sweet spot it's like a bright yellow and let's see how this looks I it's so hard to find a yellow that's gonna pop on my skin tone and I'm not even like obviously the deep darkest shade out there but any tan girl will tell you that it's tough to find a yellow shade that works with uh, our skin tone. So it is also just like a really fun color to wear though. I really enjoy wearing um, yellow or mustards in my crease. I feel like they like brighten up your eye so, so much. And so I'm just like messily applying this. This E2 brush is very fluffy and it's kind of bendy. <laughs> If that makes any sense to you guys. Pigmentation is okay. I'm not super duper impressed by any means. Okay, so that's about all the color I feel like I can get from it. Let's try O Behave. It's just another yellow in here. And I'm just gonna see if that'll help brighten up um, the sweet spot. Not really expecting a whole lot from this palette. If it works well, I'll be surprised. Okay, so next I want to add a shade into the crease. So I'm gonna use this kind of brush. It's like a tapered blending brush. It's called the E1. And I wanna go into the darkest shade in the palette, which is Buzzkill. Mm. Okay, let's see if there is a shade I can use in the blue moon palette. I think I'm gonna go into Fine China and kind of stamp that in the outer corner. So I do want something to darken up the outer corner. Oh no, this is not going well. The blue is now like overtaking the yellow. <sighs> Maybe it was a bad idea to try and incorporate the blue. I thought maybe it would help like darken up the outer corner, but I think it's just making it all muddy. 
So I'm just gonna stop. I'm just gonna blend all the blue out. I don't like this palette, you guys. Oh no, this is so not good. It's just like so powdery, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna, you know, kind of just like save myself and go on to the lid. And then we can do my face makeup and uh, move on from there. So I think I'm gonna use the shade Sunburst, which is like a duochrome yellow shade. That's pretty. Ooh, that's really pretty. It's gonna be a beautiful like inner corner shade, I think. I can see like Amy Loves Makeup going, ooh, that's gonna be such a pretty inner corner. Wowie! Okay, that helped a little bit, but there's crazy amounts of fallout, and I'm not impressed. Okay, I tried to clean it up a little bit with a Kleenex. It didn't go so hot, but I think once I put foundation on it, it should be okay. I do want to do my little um, Urban Decay glitter trick, so I'm just going to grab the Heavy Metal in Midnight Cowboy. This is like everyone's like all-time favorite, and I like to throw this in my crease. I think I does Paulina do this? I don't know how I decided to do this. I think Paulina is the one that I saw that always has glitter in her crease and I thought it looked so cute and it just like helps me because it helps me like salvage. I feel like when I don't love a makeup look. So it's a little um, amateur trick for you guys for me um, because I think it really just like takes it to the next level. So there's that the eye look is mostly done i will do my foundation and then we will do the lower lash line okay guys i hope you don't mind um because i don't want my videos like this to be too too long but uh i had shown like i said my auto order on instagram and a lot of you had commented that you were so curious to hear my thoughts on this foundation so i haven't used this yet i just got this order in on like friday so i'm curious to try this out this is the pure four in one love your selfie longwear foundation and concealer and this is the foundation i believe from them that has a hundred shades so i was shade matched to tg6 and this says it's made in korea and i've been hearing naima tang here on youtube she loves this foundation so i was really really curious it says concealer unscrew the cap to reveal the doe foot applicator apply concealer directly onto your imperfections and blend evenly onto skin foundation using the pump apply oh that's interesting so okay so that's the pump and then it has a doe foot too is that what it's trying to tell me oh interesting that seems unnecessary because it's the same formula um but anyway let's give it a try i'm so curious i don't know about the shade match i also got a little tan over the weekend for 4th of July. And on the bottle it says it's what blue light defense anti-pollution blue zone cruelty free gluten free and vegan friendly. My goodness. I've never seen so many claims on a foundation in my life. Ooh. I do like how it's setting. I've never tried anything from Pure. I don't think. Um so I'm excited, especially because like I love a full coverage foundation. So like, yes, color match is pretty good. I think I need more foundation though. Oh my god, I'm so excited! I think I need a brow bone highlight. Okay, anyway. Ooh, you guys. I don't know what the wear time is gonna be on this, but I really like this foundation. It's setting, it's like set so well on my face, which is fabulous. And it looks already like dry, so it won't like pick up, which is great. And 
been carrying all my favorite makeup around in this makeup bag because I want to be one of those people that can do makeup on the go, which I am not right now. I can only do makeup when I'm home because um, none of my makeup is like packed up and ready to go if I'm in a hurry. I've been loving the Juvia's Place concealer, by the way. It's so good. I have the shade 15. And I love to use this. I think it like lasts so long and it's so nice and full covered. I think I did a decent job um, shade matching myself. My Ulta, I ran into the other day to see if they had the Pac-Man stuff and Pac-Man stuff had sold out that I wanted, but um, I didn't see any Juvia's Place stuff. I don't really go to my Ulta though. I try to stay away and order online because then I can avoid the temptation because if I see things in person, it's like even worse for me. <laughs> But yeah, doesn't that like foundation look so flawless? I love it so, so much. And then I've actually been carrying around in here a sample of Fenty Beauty's powder. I got a sample from a Sephora order I placed. This is in the shade Honey. It's actually really good. Like I would totally get this in a full size, but I'm trying not to um, buy any more like powders um, because I don't need it. You know, I can just use this. I have this and I have so many other powders, but it's a nice powder. I'm actually quite impressed with it. Um, so yeah, just a little, um, in case you guys were wondering, like <laughs> the Fenty powder is Karen Harris approved <laughs> in case you guys were curious. Um, so I really like that guy. And then for my bronzer, one that has always been an oldie and a goodie for me is NARS. This is one that just works with my skin tone. Um, Casino is the one everyone knows. No, not Casino. What's the other one? Laguna is the one they're like famous for. But Casino is so tan girl friendly. And I'm just putting this all over my face with my Real Techniques brush. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, you probably haven't seen me talk about Casino. So I just wanted to mention it as like a bronzer I really like to use. I just made a video talking about some new bronzer releases that are like working for me. Some of them aren't. So I just wanted to show you guys this particular one because I really, really have used it forever. I panned one of them and then this is my second casino and I've been loving my Pat McGrath eyeliner. This is her brown one. Just a little bit softer. This is in the shade Black Coffee. I just love the look it gives um, for my waterline. And then for blush, I want to try So Retrograde because I've been loving um, the peachy one, but I want to try So Retrograde. So let's do that. And I'm just using my Real Techniques brush. Ooh, this is nice. Oh my god. I look like a little bit of an orange soda, but that's okay. And then for highlighter, I did pick up the Jeffree Star palette after I saw um, Teresa's Dead. Like in the first part of our video, she was like, just buy this. This is like the best part. So I did buy it. And I'm going to go into the shade Gold Breaker. And this is so pigmented. I've tried it already. Oh my god. I'm just going to put a little bit in the brow bone. I'm going to do my brows off the... Off off screen <laughs> and uh, come back and show you guys but yeah isn't this crazy it's so pigmented oh god I look like I snorted some let me put in some star star skews or whatever oh my god this is nuts I literally look like I snorted a unicorn I'm so sorry that was a bad color choice to put there anyway <laughs> And then before I get into my brows, let me just finish up the under eye, the waterline. I think I'm going to go in with this brush. It's like a little pencil brush called an E5 from ColourPop. And I'm going to go into Buzzkill and just, I just place that with this brush on the lower lash line. And then I'm going to go into Oh Behave and just stick that in the inner one half and then I want to use the shade Palooza which is the glitter 
I'm just gonna press some of that in the inner corner. This is not eye safe, you guys. Um, everyone's been mentioning that in their videos, so just so you know, it is not eye safe. So that's done. I just need to do my brows, mascara, finish up my hair, and I will be right back to show you guys the final look. Okay guys, we're almost done. So here are the lipstick options for today and these were gifted to me by my friend here on YouTube, Angelica, when I went to see her. You guys know how much she loves these H&M cream lip colors and she gave me three shades. So sweet. These are like right up my alley too. There's this shade called Cream Chestnut which is like my perfect shade of nude. I think, I haven't even tried these actually. Oops, I just dropped one. And then this shade is called Lady of the Manor and it looks like a dark, like grungy brown shade. Super pretty. And then this one is called Willies and Tweed, which is what British people call rubber boots, I believe. So let's see here, this one looks, ooh, this one's pretty. So that's Willies. Uh, Lady of the Manor is gonna be like the dark brown. So I think I'm gonna pass on this one for today. Definitely want like a light nude and then this one is like the caramel color called Chestnut. Mm, I think this one, this is the one I'm gonna go for. So let's see here. Let's see if the hype is real. Oh, so creamy. Mm, that's creamy. Ooh, that's yummy. That one is gonna live in my purse. I just know it. So yeah, this is the final look with the ColourPop Uh -huh Honey Palette. Sorry, here it is. So yeah, I would say final thoughts on this one. I don't love this palette. I'm actually low-key kind of like, I'm not really disappointed because I wasn't really expecting a whole lot from a palette like this. It is really hard for like my skin tone to find like a yellow that is vibrant. I don't hate this look. I definitely feel like I'll use this palette again. And for $12, it's not a horrible purchase, but I don't know, I just really wanted a really pigmented bright yellow for a darker skin tone. It's also missing like a, a little bit of a deeper shade to do like a smokier look with, but you don't have to just stick to this palette, obviously, for doing your makeup. You're gonna have access to a lot of other palettes in your collection, so keep that in mind. Don't write it off, but I don't know. It's not something you definitely need to run out and buy, in my opinion. So yeah, I'm happy I have it. I don't love, love it, first impression, but I will continue to use this, and maybe I'll show you some looks on Instagram, so definitely remember to follow me on there. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye!